Guru Nation, how's it going? Just uh, got out of a meeting with one of my doctors. That video is coming up soon with a PI perspective of a, a newer PI. Newer on the site side, but not new on the sponsor side. Uh, I got a question, what is a database lock and why is it so stressful? So the answer is a database lock is when the sponsor uh, periodically reviews the data from the study to make a decision on the safety and the efficacy. So they literally decide, do we continue this study at the extremes or not? Or do we need to modify the protocol or do we need to pay more attention to certain SAEs? What do we need to do? That's a database lock. It's usually done every quarter and it's done to give the sponsors more insight into like real time into how the study's progressing. Now, why is this database lock uh, stressful? It's stressful for a number of reasons. It's stressful on the site side, on the site's perspective, meaning, you know, the coordinators need to answer all the queries in the EDC, and they need to make sure that all the data up until the date of the database lock is finalized, which means it's accurate and it's free of queries. So queries are resolved. And it's also stressful on the side of the CRAs because oftentimes there's a lot of queries, there's a lot of data which has not even been entered or reviewed. So CRAs need to get in there at the sites, do their IMVs, review the data, uh, and then issue queries and then close out queries when they've been resolved and verify that it's accurate. So it's stressful on both sides, the sites and the CRAs. And this is why database lock might be an interview question for you guys uh, either as CRAs or as study coordinators or even as remote site monitors. So just really quick, hopefully it's helpful. What is a database lock? Talk to you soon.